Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how easy it is to add and manage a blog. Web Plus provides a range of ready-made interactive and dynamic objects such as blogs, forums, mailing lists, hit counters and so on. These are known as smart objects and are provided by Serif and are hosted via Serif web resources. You can quickly insert a blog by dragging the blog object from the Quick Build tab to your page. If you see the login dialog, you'll need to log into your web resources account before you can continue. If you don't have an account yet, click the Create Account link and follow the steps. For now, I'll log in. The Edit Blog dialog is now displayed. I need to use the Style pane to name my blog. If I want to prevent others from embedding my blog object into their own websites, I can also add my domain URL into the Filter Offsite text box. Below the Preview pane, you'll see that we have some more options. Here, I can change the blog description and I can also optionally add the name of the blogger, a profile description and even a picture. To get this to show alongside the blog entries, I need to select the Profile Info option. There are also other options available from the blog settings, including permalinking, which allows visitors to bookmark a blog article, and social bookmarking, which allows visitors to submit articles to popular social bookmarking sites. Detailed information for each option is provided in the blog Online Help. Some of the visual elements in the blog are also controlled by a style sheet. You can either select a preset style sheet from the drop down list, or more advanced users can actually create a style sheet of their own. It's worth noting that you can only see the stylistic changes made by the style sheet after accepting the changes and returning to the page in WebPlus. However, you can always go back and change any settings at any time. Once finished making changes, I click Save. The blog is now placed on the page. I can resize it by dragging on the bounding box handles. If the preview doesn't display, I can refresh it by clicking this button. I can see that some of the blog text is too dark and also very small. I'll change this now by selecting the blog and clicking Edit on the Context Toolbar. In the Style pane, I can now change the text properties. Notice that because the text has been changed to white, it can no longer be seen in the preview window. This is when it can be useful to uncheck the preview colours option. Now, even though the text will be white when published, changes to the size or font type can be seen in the preview. On saving the changes, the blog is updated. OK. The style is finalised and I've published my site to a live web server. Let's add an article to the blog. There are two ways to do this. The first is by adding the article using Web Plus, and the second is to add an article via serifwebresources.com using a web browser. We'll start with Web Plus. With the blog selected, clicking Manage on the context toolbar opens a new dialog. Here, Articles can be added, edited and deleted, as can comments posted by blog users. The Editors Group drop-down list lets you choose whether to create, edit and manage articles yourself or allow others to do so. If you have set up one or more Access Control user lists, you will see them all listed in the Editors Group drop-down and then this group needs to be selected from the drop-down list. Access Control user lists are covered in detail in the online written tutorial, Access Control. To add an article, I click New, and now I type a title for the article, 
and type the article content in the main window. To format the text, I can use these toolbar controls. The colour of the text is determined by the style options we set earlier. I can also embed images or media if I know the URL or have the HTML code provided by some photo sharing websites. Tag keywords can be added to categorise the article and allow blog users to search for similar articles of interest. For a list of suggested tags, click the Suggest link. Selecting Allow Trackbacks option lets other web users include references and links to the blog articles on their websites. You can also control who is permitted to post comments to blog articles. For example, spam can be prevented by using a capture control. Now I click Save. The article is immediately displayed in the list and on the published website. Even if I haven't got WebPlus to hand, I can easily add new articles and maintain existing articles or comments by logging into serifwebresources.com via a web browser from any PC, even if WebPlus isn't installed. Once I've logged in, my existing smart objects appear in the smart objects library. To manage the blog articles, I select the blog from the list and click Manage. All of the blog articles are listed, and the controls are laid out in the same way as they were when I managed the blog via WebPlus. Now let's suppose that site visitors have added a comment that isn't suitable. By selecting the relevant blog and then clicking Comments, I can delete selected comments for an article or even clear all comments. If I view my live website, you can see that these comments are no longer displayed. I hope this tutorial has demonstrated just how easy it is to add and manage blogs and has encouraged you to create your own. You'll find more information in the WebPlus Help and our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.